What is up everybody, my name is Justin, this is Forever Self Employed and in today's video we're going to be talking about a doctor who quit her job in order to help her husband out with his pressure washing business. In this one, Inner Circle member Adam is going to be telling the story about how his wife quit her job as a doctor to come in and help him within his pressure washing business. He's also going to be walking us through how he quit his full time job with Coke to start this business. He went from making $3,000 a month with Coke to over $7,000 a month uh, starting his own pressure washing business. Now he makes over $19,000 a month and he attributes a lot of that success to brand bringing his wife into the business. Like I said, she quit her job as a doctor to come in and help him. He said he makes more now than he ever has, even with her working as a doctor. So in today's video, ton of value for you guys. He, he's even going to walk us through how he quit his job with Coke, how he grew his business while he was still at his job and ultimately put himself in a position where he could walk away and still be making enough money to support himself and his family. So we're going to be going into that in today's video. If you guys want to learn more about chemicals that you need for pressure washing, how to mix them, the equipment that you need, job walkthroughs, property protection, how to clean every surface on a residential job site and much much more be sure to check out the how to wash course that'll be the first link in the comment section and the description and if you want to surround yourself with guys like this that are doing big numbers in their business that are quitting their job that are going full-time into their business working for themselves be sure to check out the inner circle is the best place for service providers looking to surround themselves with guys doing big numbers and doing big things within their own business but with all that out of the way let's go ahead and check out adam's story tell us a little bit about your wife quitting her job in order to help you in your pressure washing business yeah so what happened just as my wife was uh, actually um, went to school to be a doctor of audiology and she'd been in the field for about five years and then COVID hit at the time we decided to find a way to make some extra money so we started pressure washing on the side and what happened is about a year later um, we realized that we were making more money pressure washing than she was making at her job and she she saw the potential to make even more money if she was able to help the business full time so we decided for her to quit her job and she was able to actually uh, take our income from about 7k a month to doing about um, 16 or 17,000 the next month that um, she was actually able to answer the phones, do the quotes, and do all that kind of stuff. Excellent, man. Was that a big leap for her, like quitting her job and, and going full-time into the business, or was it something that you guys knew that you would have success with whenever she came home? Um, it was kind of a leap because we were we were scared, like, what happens if the jobs go away? What happens if the quotes go away? You know, th that sort of thing. But what kind of kept us going is the fact that instead of it being a part-time hobby for us, it was going to be a full-time business for her, you know, something that she would be able to run and make sure that we do have those those jobs coming in, you know, doing the email marketing, the stuff that makes you successful. You Excellent. Know? So yeah, kind of talk to her role and what she brought to the business whenever you guys brought her on. Is she doing the washing or is she handling more of the admin side of things? So in the beginning, my wife would love to come along and just help clean driveways, clean walkways. Um, we did a couple parking lots together. And then what happened is she realized she was really good at quoting people. She's really good at email marketing and decided that she wanted to focus on that side of the house. So now when a lead comes in from our marketing company, she she responds within three to five minutes, shoots them an estimate, and then she follows up with them. Um, and then she also does some email outreach for me as well to like um, property managers and things like that. Okay, excellent. And it's funny that you said the quoting side of things because like, you know, we have another girl in the group. Her name is Ashley. And uh, the way she does quoting is pretty interesting. Now, how does she kind of do quoting to her advantage? Do you think she does different? Um, what, I guess the she likes to do the hands-off approach, just kind of like it's taught in the group, you know, quoting from online, looking at the property online. Um, we have we have a sheet at home that's, hey, you know, this is how much per, you know, for siding, this is how much for driveways, things like that, based off of square footage and that sort of thing. So she kind of bases it off of that, and then she also charges more if she wants to because she's the boss. So <laughs> there you go. Awesome, man. So she kind of brings on uh, like a really good admin inside to your business because she's able to respond to quotes quicker as you mentioned and um, she's just like a you know a really good secretary kind of right but exactly. also she works within the business as well correct she's actually like a glorified secretary because you know with her background of being a, you know in the medical field she's got that attention to detail she works really hard she takes pride in what she does um, especially when she's focusing on you know making sure the customers know that we care about them and so um, and that's one of the number one comments we get is wow your communication was great you know, whoever I talked to was awesome. Whoever, you know, sent the estimate was quick to respond. And we're really thankful for that. So Right. Okay. So the business went from, I think you said about seven to 16. So literally doubled. Doubled in like in less than 30 days. Okay. Yeah. And then you attribute most of that success to her ability to communicate better with the customer, send invoices faster, things of that nature. Agreed. And, part, and the reason I say that is because during that whole time, I was still working full time. I was working full time as a Coca-Cola merchandiser and I would get off every day at two and then go watch two houses a day or go wash you know three houses a day and then I would also work all weekends 
Um, but what really changed in those two months was my wife was full time on the computer doing whatever we had to do. Excellent. So you still working that job or? No, I ended up uh, jumping ship back in April of uh, 2022 to go full time pressure washing. When our business went to doing about 18,000 to 19,000 a month, three months consecutively. Wow. That's incredible, man. That's incredible. So the biggest movers you would say is just the things that you mentioned and what she kind of brought to the table. Any advice you would give to somebody who's like just starting out or hoping to get to, you know, a position where you guys have found yourself in now? Yeah. So my biggest, uh, I'd say my biggest success is having her on the side. So if you don't have a significant other or you don't have someone who's able to um, reply to quotes right away, estimates, things like that, find a service to do that. Look into, you know, some of these um, call services that are out there that can help you quote. So that way you have someone who's able to answer that phone while you're up on a ladder washing a house. You have someone to answer the phone while you're working your day job, getting ready to go hustle after your day job and work that side hustle and grow that business. That's what I'd really recommend. Um, and the other thing, you know, we've really, really, um, we didn't focus a lot on marketing in the very beginning and now we focus a lot more on that as well. Excellent. Adam, uh, last question for you. Kind of talk to the transition between going, you know, part-time to full-time in your business and how you know others can kind of emulate what you've been able to do um, making that transition so the biggest thing for me was to know that we had the consecutive business going on um, and to be able to set that budget know what my personal budget was my business budget was and what we needed to have every single month to come in and what I really saw was I was hurting myself by not being full-time in the business because in my day job, I was making $3,200 a month. But in my pressure washing business, I can make $3,200 a day. It was just a matter of having the time to do it. And when I was working 10 to 12 hours, you know, six or five to six days a week for a company that's like, oh, work harder, but we're not going to pay you more. You're like, oh, okay. And why is that? Because you're on salary. Right. And so I realized there was more value for me to be out there full-time washing. Excellent. So for anybody out there that wants to bring on employees, keep in mind that incentivize, incentivizing them will, you know, if Coca-Cola would have invested more into you, Adam, and said, if you're able to meet XYZ goals, we'll pay you more money, maybe you wouldn't have been as uncomfortable to, to make a change into your career, you know? Well, they did incentivize us because we got commissions, right. but it still was only like, you know, three or 4% of your sales. So right. when a company's making $400 million and they pay you 4,000, you could be making $400 million. That's kind of <laughs> tough. <laughs> Excellent, man. So um, for anybody who's looking to make that transition, would you say baby stepping it is the right way to go there? Because I get a lot of people that come onto the channel and they're like, hey, I want to quit my job. I want to go do something different. But you really shouldn't do it right out of the gate. You shouldn't just quit your job and go. You should make sure it's feasible for yourself. Right? Correct, correct. You should definitely make sure that um, you have all of your personal expenses covered, all your business expenses covered, and you're investing a good amount of money into marketing every single month to make sure that never dries up for you before you um, step into the full-time role. The other thing is it shouldn't be a leap. It should be a step. You shouldn't be like, oh, hey, I make 6000 a month at my at my job. I, I can make 6000 a month pressure washing. I'm, I'm going to jump. You should be able to double it before you jump, you know, um, and really focus on what it takes to make sure you know your numbers. That's the biggest thing as well. If you think you're making money, but you don't have any money left over at the end of the month, you're not making enough money. So you got to really figure that out as well. Excellent. Excellent advice, Adam. Uh, thank you for coming on and talking to us about this today. Uh, every guest that comes on the channel has to pick the word of the day. So what would you like the word of the day to be? Hustle. Hustle. The word of the day is hustle. If you guys comment that down below, I'll hashtag you a real one.